Today we're going to work with the painted sketch. Now the first thing you need to do is learn how to mix your colors. Always use a palette and always use a palette knife. Try to keep those colors clean. Now the idea with a painted sketch is just to work very loosely using your pencil sketch as a guide. Just lay in the colors, mix them, test them, spread them like, like, like cream cheese on a bagel. Don't worry about going outside the lines. This isn't coloring in. You're in the, you're in the big time now. You're, you're painting. And notice how I'm using only a big clumsy brush. No detail, just blocking in the lights and the darks. The lights and the darks. Now we have this method called fat on lean. I know that sounds like an exercise tape, but it's not. It's starting off with thin layers and then gradually building up those layers. And that's precisely what I'm doing. So if you notice, I'm putting the palm trees over the already painted sky. And now, putting shadows underneath, underneath the balls of the palm trees so we know where the light is hitting. I'm not really worried about varying the colors right now, making different greens, just blocking in shadows, highlights, shadows, highlights to suggest a single source of light. Again, keeping it nice and fresh and fluid. There we go, another layer, fatter than the leaner layer underneath. Using your rag from time to time to get a texture, maybe, maybe evoking a cloud or something like that. The point is this, to keep it fresh. When you're coloring in, your painting ends up dying. It looks like it's an illustration. You want to betray the energetic, passionate process of luscious, juicy paint coursing over a surface. Notice those cast shadows on the street. And I hope it's not been lost on you that the whole strategy behind this painting is the one point perspective. The two sides of the street vanishing to a single spot. I'm allowing the viewer to do all the work. I'm putting in a few clues, a few cues, but the burden of interpretation is on the viewer. And with a couple of indications of color here, light there, ultimately the illusion of a street scene in broad daylight becomes abundantly clear. One more layer maybe for that street. The center divide. Couple more schmears and boom, we got it. A painted sketch. Thank you.